All right, it's a quick follow-up video to the other 2X client remote desktop for Android video I just put up. Um, and this, I'm putting this video up real quick because my wife just yelled at me for, well, how do I set it up? So, that's a good point. <laughs> so, um, let's go back over here. Let's go into our 2X client. Now, I already set up mine, but I'm going to set up another one just to show you guys. Now, a couple point, quick points. And I'm, I'm assuming that most of you who are wanting to remote desktop into their computers already know how to port forward and do all this stuff. But just a brief uh, description or a brief set of instructions I can give is you need to, from, the outs from outside your network, you need to get into your router and port forward port 3389 to forward to your IP address of your actual computer and make sure your computer has a static IP address so it doesn't change on you. Once you do that, um, you can be on the outside somewhere and remote desktop to your um, external IP address. And I, I guess I should probably do another video on how to do all that as well, but um, just right now you can just go to uh, open up a browser, go to whatismyip.org, and it'll tell you what your external IP address is. Uh, there's a lot more information on that, so and I'm not going to go into detail on that one, but as far as setting up the client, <laughs> is pretty simple. Um, once you get to your screen here, you can bring up your menu, click on Add. Um, we want a terminal server connection. Alias is the names that you were seeing on my on those on that one screen. This one I'm just going to do, I'm going to say it's my test, not teat, test. Hit OK. The server we're using is, um, this is going to be my IP address of the computer. Now, since I'm, I'm going to be connecting through my internal network here, I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi here. I'm just going to put in my internal IP address of this computer. Um, you guys should probably know how to get to that. You just go to start, CMD type in IP config and look for the IP address. That's your internal IP address of your computer. Now, so we're going to go ahead and put this in here. And I know what this one is. It is 10, because I got a DHCP reservation set on it, 2.0.20. That way it doesn't change. Okay, so now, whoops, is it blurry? Okay, so now I have my alias set. I called it test. The server is 10.2.0.20. Port is the default port 3389. Uh, my username, I'm going to go ahead and put my username. I'm going to put my whole domain. Uh, let's try it with just my username. And hit OK. I'm not going to put the password in here because I, I, don't, I don't, if someone takes my phone, I don't want them to be able to access anything. So, um, other than that, I'm going to leave everything else the same. Yes, connect to console. Um, that way, if. Uh, if I'm doing something here, I want to make sure that it gets connected to that console and not create a new session. But this isn't a server, so it shouldn't be a problem. Color depth, everything I'm going to leave. Uh, you can bring in the desktop background if you wanted to, and font smoothing, um, themes, sound redirection, everything. So, But I'm going to leave everything else default. And um, So I'm just going to hit the back button, and now you can see I have a test profile. Let me just connect to my Wi-Fi really quick. Make sure we get connected there. And let's hit test. Okay, let's close that. And there we go. But I do see a problem. And if you look closely, see it has C Davis PC slash C Davis. That's my local computer name. And it will not log on like that. Um, so since I'm on a domain network here, I have Active Directory set up. I need to go in here and change this. This is a little more advanced and if you know if you have Active Directory and everything, I'm sure you guys know how to set all this stuff up. But uh, so what I want to do is bring my cursor to the front, type in my domain name, South Town, and then use the backslash South Town C Davis. Hit OK and uh, hit the back and let's try it again. Uh, yes, disconnect the previous one. Okay, now you can see it's going to be logging in with the domain. Credentials, Southtown, that's Davis. But that's that's a basic example of how to set this up. Uh, again, the hardest part might be figuring out how to configure your router to port forward. Um, maybe setting up a dynamic DNS account so that way uh, 
when your external IP address changes, it will change, the dynamic DNS name will change with it, um, and so on. So, uh, if you guys have questions about that, just post them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to help you out.